Hello, I'm Christopher Pierkowski. I'm the Chief Medical Officer of Abbott's Electrophysiology Division. I'm back to answer more cardiovascular questions sent in by members of the Abbott HeartMates community. Let's have a heart to heart. Let's see what we have today. Here's Sean from California. Sean asks, what do you think is the coolest thing about the heart? Sean, I believe the heart is an incredibly ingenious electromechanical machinery. For me, the coolest thing is the huge amount of energy that the heart can produce by itself during every heartbeat. The heart is not only one pump, it is actually four pumps assembled together. They are coordinated over an electrical system with a conductor, with wires, with switches to synchronously work together. That is so beautiful and so cool. That is something that we as humans cannot build and design yet. It is something that nature has done. And I think this is pretty cool. Susan from Massachusetts asks, what makes fat and cholesterol build up in your arteries? Aren't all these things basically smooth and slippery? Susan, for a moment, let's compare the arteries to your garden hose. Think about the material of the wall of those garden hoses. It's either plastic or rubber. Now inside the human body, the wall of the arteries are made from muscle. And cholesterol and fat build up in this muscle tissue, in the wall of the arteries. The inside of the arteries is smooth and slippery, as you state. However, when the cholesterol and the fat go larger and larger, they can break through into the inside. And then the smooth and slippery surface is damaged. And that's an acute event. That's a myocardial infarction or a heart attack. Let's move on to the next question. Samantha from Tennessee has an interesting one. Samantha asks, how do surgeons see what they are doing in the heart? Is it always with a scope? Samantha, your question describes the evolution of cardiovascular medicine by technology. Initially, all treatment to the heart was done by cardiac surgeons, and they could only see what they are doing when they open the chest of a patient and see it with their eyes and feel it with their hands. But then technology came in, and one of the first big breakthroughs was the use of X-ray, because with X-ray, physicians could start to see catheters inside the heart. And that was the birth of interventional cardiology, when catheters were introduced to the groin and manipulations and therapies could be applied to the heart. The next big milestone was the introduction of GPS tracking. With GPS tracking, now suddenly physicians were able to localize catheters three-dimensionally in the heart. And that was a birth of interventional electrophysiology. That is everyday practice today, and that is how those physicians can see what's going on in the heart. Next question comes from Alan from Maine. Alan is asking, it seems like every week there's a study saying that a particular food helps your heart, and I should eat a handful of this berry, a handful of that vegetable, and drink a cup of this tea every day. Does this kind of diet stuff really make a difference? Alan, I share your view. These data are sometimes confusing and hard to follow. And there is certainly not a single truth in terms of optimal diet. And besides, every human body is different and may react different to certain dietary components. So there is not a singular answer. However, there is consensus on what healthy components and ingredients in our diet should be. And this is vegetables, fruit, and fiber, and a reasonable amount of protein, meat, fat. But again, it is the balance and the amount that matters to your well-being. Let's see here. There's John from South Dakota. John is asking, can someone just naturally have a faster heartbeat than normal? John, thank you for that question. 
There is not such thing as a single number of a normal heart rate. The heart rate can vary from many things. Age is an important one. Newborn children have heartbeats at around 120 beats per minute. It is totally normal for them. For an adult, this would be too fast. A marathon runner could have a heart rate of 30 to 40 beats per minute when he is at rest. In other persons, this would be considered too slow, too low, and one might start thinking about a pacemaker. So there's a wide range of heartbeats that can be considered normal. For that assessment, one thing is important, and that is what you feel. If your heartbeat is a little faster than your friend's heartbeat, but you feel totally fine, then you are very normal. Looks like those are all the questions for today. Thank you to all the heartmates who wrote to us. This is a community of people impacted by heart conditions. And chances are, if you have a question, other people in the community are wondering the same thing. So by sending us what's on your mind, you're helping everyone. If you're not in the HeartMid program and would like more information on what this community is all about, please visit abbott.com slash heartmates. We hope you'll join us. Thank you again and goodbye.